You're on board KCAA's Inland Talk Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. Weekends are made for listening at KCAA, News Talk 1050 on your AM dial. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, welcome to the show, everybody, and I'm glad you tuned in today. And very quickly, happy Valentine's Day. Wherever you are, buy yourself a present. That's the rule from us three ladies. And who we have in the house today, our guest, hot diggity dog, we finally got this woman in the house, is Rhonda from Wrestler's Design. Hello. (laughs) And Rhonda is the genius that does all the work for us. And she makes a business card. She makes me look real good on that. When I make a bleep and blunder, she tells me I make a bleep and blunder. So, Rhonda, welcome, and I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Good to be here. Good. And then we have Grace. Yes, the one and only Grace. And she is the owner of Studio 395. She is in the art world, which we all love. And so, welcome. Thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. Thank you. We had such a horrible time with the connection before, so I just came down here in live in person. And I'm so glad you did. Thank you. Yes. And these poor ladies came in from Palm Springs. They got caught in traffic. And I said, when I talked to Rhonda, she says, I'm driving. I said, they'll be here on time. You drive like I do. (laughs) (laughs) And we made it. (laughs) Yes. With five minutes to spare. I know. know, It's fabulous. And then also, we are going to be talking to Teresa, the owner of Generations 3 Purses. She's going to be calling calling in in a little bit and the one and only Armia sometime through the day she'll be calling in and then we are going to be talking about Valentine's Day the California Theater of Performing Arts and some special events and we're going to give all of you guys some good tips on the do's and don'ts if you forgot to get something for your wife your sweetheart your girlfriend your mom your auntie whomever don't worry about it we're going to help you out here guys you know real quick Okay, so without any further to do, we are here. And Rhonda, would you please tell everybody the beginning of your story, the wins and the whys? I love this story. She has such a good story. Well, way back in about 1998, I took a class at Mount San Jacinto College in Menifee, and I learned how to design websites. And it was just a real basic, simple class. And I wanted to do it, um, you know, for fun. My husband recommended an idea. He said, you know, your dad's a famous drag racer from the old days. Why don't you design a website that is kind of a celebration for him? And I thought that would be perfect because, you know, who wants a website about me? And so I put that together. And when I did that, it was I mean, I'm not going to say this was the beginning of the Internet, but there were no other drag racing websites back at that time. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of cool because I was fortunate enough to go to the um, events with my dad, and I would meet all the other racers like Big John Masmanian, K.S. Pittman, and Ohio George. And so talking to them, I told them what I was doing, and they would give me their information And I was able to build a Gasser drag racing legend area on that website. Well, from there, the Internet started to explode and people wanted their own website. So I started my own little business um, designing websites. And that's what um, I'm doing today. Um, I was able to quit my regular job back then. And now I I design websites for small businesses and businesses. um, I'm doing pretty good with it. And it's really uh, it's something I enjoy. And who would have thought that um, I would have started a whole brand new way of life, you know, after 40. So. And it's a fantastic. I love that story. I really do. And also, last week it, when you tuned in, and we had Rich from Starflight Entertainment. And also we had Jesse, Jesse J from Jesse J Collections, mm-hmm. our designer. And both of them were celebrating their anniversaries. And I was thinking, I, and you were so jammed, you know. Right. So that's why I'm glad you're here now. Yeah. Because you just had your anniversary not too long ago. Yeah, it's, all, it's a little over 15 years yeah. that I've been doing this, of the web and the graphic design. So 
time flies. It's it, crazy. It, isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah. It, and I remember I met you about six years ago. Right. And uh, I was just learning myself on, on all of this. And then Tom... Uh, buggy Tom, that's mm-hmm. what we call him. Uh, he, he's another. He's not a bug. He's just it's his business. He's a termite guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he kills termites. Right. He he doesn't live with them. He kills. <laughs> l- let's get that straight. So, anyways, he told me about you, and that's when I called you. And it was really weird. You meet these people. They come in your lives, or you go into their lives when you're supposed to. Ron and I talked maybe about five minutes, and it was a constant. Boom, yeah. connection yeah. right then and there. And we have been friends and family ever right. since. Right. Yeah, and she does all of my work, and she, she's fabulous. Thank you. And before we go on, why don't you bump out your phone number? Okay. If you would like to get in touch with me, I do web and graphic design. I also do web hosting, and I also can procure domain names. And my phone number is 951 522 8757. And you can also look at some of my web clients. I have a listing on my web, my website, and it's restlessdesigns.com. Simple as that. One more time with a www in the phone number. www.restlessdesigns.com. And my phone is 951-522-8757. And now, and explain to people how you had to explain it to me. If somebody brand new calls you and they don't have a clue, which... Like me, I had no idea what you know what I was doing. How do you get people started? Walk them through. Well, what what you do normally, if you have a business, you want the name of your business as your domain name. So we find out if that is a is that available. Such as mine is restlessdesigns dot com. There's also dot net and dot org and so forth. Mm-hmm. Once we procure that, then we. Decide what what do you want your site to look like. And I also do logo and graphic design, so we can start from scratch. Or if you already have something, what I like to do is make it um, look like your already prepared graphics on your business cards or so forth. Or we can, you know, start brand new and go from there. And then um, what we do is we design the website, which gives you web presence and that way, anybody who's looking for you can look for you online and find you. And so. when you told me presence, I'm thinking, I get a gift out of this? <laughs> yeah. I was getting happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get new friends. Yes, you do. <laughs> and then you're the one that helped me put the business cards together. Right, right. And everybody's uh, hopefully seen my business cards. If you didn't call me, I'll give you one. And we have the two ladies here. Right. And then Christina Millian. Our liaison, she came up where your Fridays just got better. Right. That's how that whole thing was put together. Right. And and we had more fun doing this. Yeah. And it was kind of like you told me what you were looking for, and then I put together what I envisioned from what you said, and I was amazed. She liked my first draft, so mm-hmm. it was pretty exciting that, you know, so I like that when that happens. Yeah, and then also the information sheet. Um, the rack cards. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I keep on forgetting the name of that. Mm-hmm. And she does this too, and which uh, because way back when, you know, everything was printed out. You had the big sheets, and you had to hand them, mm-hmm. and yada, yada, yada. Well, once you got hold of them and, and put it all together, and they were really nice because now when you go to events or wherever you are, you put them neatly in these little holders, and people can pick them up. And you don't have to worry about all this other stuff flying around. Right, right. And I know at one time brochures were really popular, but the rack cards are one sheet. They're the size of a brochure, you know, folded up, and mm-hmm. you just but you have two sides. And people have a tendency to like that better than having to read through, you know. I mean, if someone does want to know more about your services, then you can have a brochure that goes into more detail. But this mm-hmm. is something that we found that was kind of cool for you to, you know, give people a quick overview of your you know what you do. Yeah, I love that. And then, oh, you know what? Let's talk about the cards that you do. Which cards? The, the photograph cards with the birds and stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I am also, an, as I say, I do graphic art, but I also do digital art and where I digitize my own photographs and so forth. And then I create digital paintings and um, I create greeting cards out of those too. So that's something that's kind of fun out of... Um, if anybody does art and so forth, then they would like to have it placed on a, on um, 
greeting cards, then I'm, I've got some good information on how to do that. I also do old photo restoration, too. Mm-hmm. So if anybody has old photographs that they would like to have restored, I can do that as well. And then digitize it, put it on a disc, and they can take it somewhere and have it printed in you know large formats and so forth. And they're gorgeous, gorgeous. I looked at them and I'm going, why couldn't I be this talented? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I learned how to turn on the computer. I'm not joking around. Way back when, yeah, you know, right. because when being a New Yorker, we talk more than we write. And we're constantly on the go, you know, mm-hmm. from one person to another and, you know, yakety yak, yak. Then when I got down here, I'm going, and things started moving. I says, you know, I better learn this square box and figure out how, how the thing works. And Rhonda, God bless her, she was so patient with me. She goes, no, Bev. And remember that one day you were in your office, I was in mine. And it was really funny. We were both in our jammies as, during this process. And she says, all right, get to this page. And you see that? And I said, yeah. She says, hit that. Do this and do this and do this. At the end of the conversation, I think we gabbed more about everybody else than what we were doing. Right. In about an hour and a half. I knew how to get to from one page to another to this and that and the three screens and, and everything. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, this is so much fun. Right. Yes. Got you addicted, didn't I? <laughs> yes, yes. And then she, she does the Facebook for me. You do the Twitter for me. Mm-hmm. And then at the end when we put all the programs on the, the website, web, website mm-hmm. she does all of this. And what Rich does is when it's at the end, he takes it off in one computer Cleans it up, right? Mm-hmm. Sends it over to you in Dropbox, and next thing I know, it's there. Yeah. And I'm going, oh, this can't be easier. <laughs> yes. Right. You know, and so what else would you like to tell everybody? Um, well, actually, I have something special I want to say about one of my web clients. Um, you remember Nikki, Nikki's Custom Cake? Yes. Oh, she's fantastic. Yeah. Best cakes up, ever. Up in Lake Arrowhead. Well, she has created a co-op up there, and today is the grand opening. I wish we could have been there. It's at the, so Sweets and Stuff had to let that store go. So now what she's doing is she has Lake Arrowhead Weddings um, where she's, you can come to this store and you can, if you want to need a photographer, you need a DJ, you need a, you know, a venue or a baker or something. Well, she's the baker. Mm-hmm. And so I'm very proud to announce that she's got that going and grand opening was today. So she's a, another one of my web clients and I love her to death. It's Nikki's custom cakes.com. So, um, I'm very excited for her cause her business is starting to, to each, bloom. Yeah. You know, each year it just you know, blossoms more and more, and she has the most incredible, incredible uh, desserts and cakes and all kinds of stuff. Oh, so. I'm going to tell you, it's fantastic. That one day you and I went up the hill, mm-hmm. and uh, we seen her, and that's where the antique shop exactly. was next door. Right, and, exactly. And, um, it's where Sweets and Stuff was, and now Sweets and Stuff is still there, but it's not the the bakery anymore. It's a wedding uh, wedding event co-op thing yeah. Yeah. right and we had so much fun and i could not believe she had nikki has these photographs through a catalog of all the different cakes right. you look at these cakes and you're going are you kidding me you did not cut something this beautiful to eat it <laughs> i i mean it's right. unbelievable i mean if someone has it's, she's kind of like you know i will say an artist because you tell her your vision of what you would like to have your cake look like, say for your wedding, a wedding or something, she can do it. I mean, she mm-hmm. has, she has like my most favorite was these three suitcases. Yes, yeah, that were on yes. at, each at an angle, and it was the cutest thing. Mm-hmm. And um, but I mean anything, and I mean she's very reasonably priced as well. I mean you can go to Hollywood and get a high end girl that you know or someone charges you you know, buku bucks. Well. She doesn't charge as much as them, but she's even better than they are, you know. So. And when you stop and think about it, remember that day we were talking about weddings, mm-hmm. right? Joe, you're going to get a kick out of this one. Joe is our board up. We got Joey today. I, I'm and, the other Joe. <laughs> right. And what always amazed me, especially being in the DJ business and, you know, all of this, the price someone pays for a wedding. Mm-hmm.